school nothing this year. How was it for you? Edmund, it was fantastic. I was initially a little bit cautious and very open to goal setting because it's part of what we do even with our team members and with our clients. But when it came, classic, when it came to myself, I was a little bit apprehensive, um, albeit open. And i got to say, Edmund, that when I went through step by step, which I love about your goal mapping session, it is very much both analytical, you know, from that kind of left brain uh, point of view, but it's also uh, touches into the creative side with the right brain, even, you know, the way it works with narrative on one side, pictures on the other. And despite my apprehension, the ability for you as, you know, a coach or a trainer in that, but also the system that you have to walk me through one step at a time, almost to identify, you know, the jigsaw pieces, if you like, and put them in the right order. And then, you know, for it to come out the way it did, number one, it's very, very strong visually. But number two, I started to achieve things that I had set out in ways that I was surprised me. They came from, you know, sources um, that I wasn't expecting, but I guess that's, you know, less important than the actual achieving of the goals. And, and all those sources were in a good way, by the way, everything was good. Yeah. yeah. So when, when you completed, since you completed your goal, Matt, yeah. Yeah. how far are you on in actually the completion of all of your goals? Or well, that's you know, the great question, first of all. And secondly, well, I've dated it um, 1st of September 2020 out through to the 31st of August 2021. So I haven't achieved all of them, but they're on the right path. And this goal setting, I've gotten to realize that, you know, the, the goals are very important, but it's also the process. So, you know, there are certain things on my map, um, goal map, that I have um, started and made some inroads. Um, have I achieved all of it? No, but I feel that, you know, I'm, I'm on track in most of the areas, and there was one area just for me, albeit that the goals, the, like the income goals, um, were very, very important. Actually, what was more important for me was some of the personal goals, and I've certainly felt that I've made some great strides in that area. Thank you. And for people who are in business, how would you see the advantages of people in business using goal mapping? Or what would you say to anybody looking at this video? Yeah, I would say first and foremost that because um, I come from an accountancy background, a chartered accountant, I also had a five year period where I had become an executive coach and a life coach, and I use that very much in, in the work that I do now with teams of people. But I would say that even if you see yourself as an you know, a member of a board, a CEO or a managing director. Ultimately, my belief is that for you personally, it comes down to you as a person, your personal goals, your business goals, your income goals. And if you were to allow Edmund and this process to work through it, I would say to you that it's a process that um, holds a very strong mirror in front of you so no matter how well you think you've got your stuff together there's always improvements that i feel that all of us can make and the process in its clarity and also in its simplicity but its objectivity as well the fact that you know the process is holding you accountable to it as well because certainly personally i've found with goals in the past the best way that was described to me is most of us if you paint a picture that you go out to the woods and you're shooting um, for targets, if you like, um, what we, most of us do is shoot first and draw the target around it and say, oh, look at that, I got the bullseye. Um, and, you know, we, we hide from ourselves if I use the word lying. I don't mean blatant. I don't mean, um, I just mean that we, we get very good at um, giving ourselves excuses. What I found this process did at Edmund is very much helped me to draw the targets first, and then I'm going through the process and there's 
nowhere to hide from it. And I intend to take up, you know, I'm on a bronze membership now. I intend to take up, you know, the higher status then coming into 2021 because I think that can help me refine some of these and take some of these major goals and maybe make a project of, you know, five of them instead of just having one um, goal map as well. Fantastic. Kevin, thank you very much for sharing your wisdom and your knowledge, but also your, your fabulous expertise. And I wish for you an abundance of all that you're looking for and much more throughout this new year as well. Very well. But the last thing I, I, I would say, Ed, Edmund, is if anybody's considering this process, um, you know, allow yourself to, to, to walk through it. Um, it will be worth it. It takes a little bit of time, but it's very, very um, much worth it. And I think the power of um, having that as a visual tool as well, I have it on my laptop and I have it also printed out and I also have an office at home and I have it there as well. So the, the power of it is, is very, very powerful. And Edmund, the work that you do, I think is enormous in, you know, no matter whether that's a you know, CEO of a board of directors, as I said, or a, a, a school child just want to get on the football team or whatever, you know. So thank you very much, Edwin. Thank you. Wish you the best for 2021 as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just show up without actually revealing the content of your map, just to see what a, a good map is. Fantastic. So you have your pictures and you have your words. I do indeed. And you have uh, your as well. I have my dates. I found it very, very powerful. Fantastic. Thank you so much.